All right, so I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial on online mapping for the state of New Hampshire using their public free online map system. It goes through the University of New Hampshire. It's called Granite View. So I'm going to type in Granite View New Hampshire. Anybody can do that. It's going to get you right to this search title right here. And then you're going to go in here and you're going to go to Granite View. Granite View is the online map viewer that we're going to be using. It's got a ton of information. There is other information here. We're going to focus on this right now, though. So I've already got it loaded up because it takes a little while to load. This is the screen that you're going to get to. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to choose your face map. Uh, for the sake of this, there's a bunch of different things in here. Uh, let's see. World Shade. That's pretty good. Got some hill shade, um, so it shows you topography and some other things. But really, for our purposes, we're going to go right to the Bing Hybrid, which is a road map aerial hybrid. Uh, all right, so now that we have chosen our base map, now we're going to go for our layers. The layers are right over here. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is a really nice one. It's called Environmental and Conservation. I can expand this right here. I'm going to click on Conservation and Public Lands. And look at that that all those green things in there are areas of conservation and public land. It is not all huntable public land. It is not all huntable conservation land, however much of it is. And uh, you're gonna wanna do a little bit of research to find out where you can hunt. But uh, certainly I like starting with this. So we're gonna go right into the White Mountain National Forest here. It's a big place. Uh, forgive me, I'm gonna try not to burn anybody's spot here. All right, so. Ooh. Now we got all this. All right, stay away. Okay, so I'm going to take that off now so we can see better. I'll go ahead and click that right there. And I'm going to go in pretty tight somewhere in here. All right, so the first thing, the first layer that I'm going to show you, um, or the second layer, because I already showed you the first, is right here. Uh, if you're interested in where property lines are, boundaries, and all that, Go to New Hampshire Parcel Mosaic underneath Administrative and Political Boundaries, and you're gonna click on Polygons. Now, these lines will show up. Now we're in the National Forest, there's not a whole bunch of them, right? So they're all big pieces of land in here. Actually, we'll just move over to like an inhabited area somewhere right here. So these are, you know, actual right, people's properties right in here. All right, so we'll back out of that. Um, so if you want to know where property lines are, it's the polygons right there. We're going to unselect that because of the terrain that we're in. And we're going to focus on what looks like a bunch of pocket cuts in there. That looks like a pretty decent place. All right, so how do we start figuring out what we're looking for in here? Um, one thing that I like doing is I like actually... Going down here, we're gonna adjust our base map a little bit. We're gonna go down to base maps and aerial imagery. We're gonna go to regional, expand that. And then we're gonna go into coastal CIR, which is going to be, oh, that's the one right there. Maybe it's right here. Right, so this right here is going to be your infrared view. I like infrared view. It gives you a really good idea of where your conifers are and where your hardwoods are. Uh, so we'll leave it on that for a minute. And then we're going to take a look up in inland water resources. And if you want to find the dams, you can. Watershed boundaries, floodplain, surface water. We're going to go to surface water right here. Um, and then this is going to show us all of the surface water. If you scout like I do, you like finding uh, cricks and rivers and whatnot um, and see how deer relate to them because they really do um, cut properties in half and whatnot. So still working. This is a lot of data that um, gets transferred and my internet is not the best. So you might have some waiting around to do. All right, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Well, that's loading. Uh, I can go ahead and, oh, here we go, we're already in. All right, so now I can just find these. There we go. I'll shut off the labeled features right here. All right. Um, and we can 
find these cricks. So again, advantageous. And then one of the last things that I want to show is in the elevation. Where are we? Once you get all these expanded, it's kind of hard to navigate through. All right, elevation. And here's a thing called LIDAR, which is a ground detecting LIDAR. So uh, ground detecting radar. So we'll go into topography and we'll go right in here, LIDAR base earth. So, okay, so here is where the ground is. So you can see through the trees. So not only can you see from above, you can see the color trees. Then you can go into the uh, to the infrared and you can see the, uh, the, the blend of conifers and hardwoods. And then beyond that, you can see LIDAR, which is the ground detecting radar. So this shows you exactly what's happening on the ground. Oops, pixelated there. All right, so if you know how to use uh, terrain and topography and all that, all of these things can be really uh, beneficial for you. And it's great here you get the slider, so you can slide it on and off and see where the brakes are. So if you can see, you know, like right here, obviously this is kind of like a little transition area. I right, check that out. Uh, I check out lots of stuff. Um, yeah, so besides that, we just have a few tools up here that I can point out. Zoom, pan, preview extent, blah, blah, blah. Print. So you want to print a map out, you can print. Uh, what it's going to do, you're going to select a scale, and then you'll select a size of a piece of paper for it, and then it will give you a print area, and then you have to, like, kind of adjust that print area. If you go straight to export, you can just go ahead and click on that, and it is going to show you a picture of just the map that you can see and then you can print that out as well one last thing that i really like is um the drawing so i can either do a straight line to measure distance right so 494 feet or if i like you know look at an area from above it can be misleading sometimes and i can say you know what how big really is that area and oh, I did that wrong. And then what you can do is you can create a polygon of your own. And then double click to finish it. And I, uh, let's see, we'll change the areas into acres. So um, that right there is a 2.2 acre section. So there you go. So that right there is the quick and dirty. There's a ton more stuff you can do with this, and I can literally talk about this for hours on end. So if this can get you started, just sit down, look at your hunting areas, and just start fiddling around with that stuff. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a question in the comments wherever you find the video. All right, thanks for watching.